Hey all, I got a new unboxing for you today. Uh, no, it's not shoes this time. Uh, it is sort of a segue to my last video though, where I started talking a little bit about belts. So I thought it'd be a good idea to continue the conversation. So this, is a belt box set from Anson Belt and Buckle. And this is really cool guys because for uh, less than hundred dollars you, you can get three straps and two buckles or you can do three buckles and, and two belts. I definitely recommend the three straps and the two buckles because you can mix and match that and you have more um, options as far as uh, straps go. This is really cool though because it doesn't have any holes. You probably heard about these before. This is actually already my second uh, box by Anson Belt. So the reason I got a new one is because if you guys remember my last video was about a uh, navy blue pair of shoes and I really wanted to get a, another uh, belt uh, to replace that pair of yellows that ended up being uh, fake leather. These come in a single measurement and they can fit up to a size 50. So what you do is you measure your size and then just uh, cut off the excess. So as I said, these don't have any holes. Instead, uh, it has this ratcheting system that allows you to micro adjust your uh, size. So isn't that cool? Uh, and then you just kind of pull this uh, lever here to release. Um, and then once you cut off the X's, and of course you gotta cut it off from this end, um, then you can uh, put it in here and then just lock it in place. I think that's really cool. Like I said, I really wanted to get a navy blue uh, belt to match my last pair uh, of shoes that I got. Uh, and then I took advantage, obviously, to get the box set because it was definitely the better um, deal uh, rather than buying each belt individually. So I really wanted to get this uh, light gray canvas. And then I got this micro patina. So it's very subtle, but I think it's really cool. Uh, so let me show you guys this other set that I had. This first set I've had it for about a year, I think. Uh, and I, I wear these a lot. Uh, this is a burgundy color. And as you can tell, it's a very solid color. Same with this navy blue. The micro patina has like this, a little bit of a texture uh, finish to it. Uh, and then this other type, they call this the vegetable tan. I wish it was a little more stiff, but I mean, it works pretty good. What they also have is these, um, these fabric belts too, that are really cool. Uh, they have a lot of different color combinations. Uh, the one complaint I do have, like I mentioned, is the, that I wish these vegetable tan ones were a little bit more stiff. Um, and then this buckle here, which is like, I think they call it the nickel free finish, the shinier uh, option of all your buckles. I don't really like it. It's uh, It scratches super easily. Um, I rarely wear this buckle. I wear this one a lot more. And as you can tell, there's hardly any scratches on there. But this one, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but um, they're super noticeable. And then that finish is starting to wear out and you're starting to see the under side of that finish, which is like a sort of a bronze color underneath there. Um, I mentioned uh, in my last video uh, talking about fake leather and the different types of leather that you can get with, uh, with the different belts and different brands and things like that. Uh, I talked about uh, my Perielis belts, which I really love, but we realized uh, that now they're making them out of fake leather. So uh, I'm definitely not gonna be buying uh, this style anymore. Um, I have a uh, this kind of braided uh, elastic belt that I think is really cool. I wear this uh, with shorts uh, and some loafers, um, you know, uh, and I think that uh, that combination is really cool. One thing that uh, you hear a lot is that you always have to match your, your shoes with your belt and yes it is true to a certain point you never want to wear uh, a brown belt with black shoes if you wear black shoes you want to wear a black belt 
but when you're talking about different shades of brown, I don't think that is necessarily the case. You can always kind of mix and match as long as it's kind of in the same uh, range uh, of color. You can wear this with these. You can also wear the chocolate brown belt with these guys, and that's perfectly fine. I have this other belt from, uh, this is from Macy's. It's a Tussle Elba brand. It is a genuine leather. I wish it was uh, a better quality, but, uh, but I really like it. I think it's decent. I wear this uh, quite a bit but it is starting to show signs of wear already. I wear this a lot with this pair of shoes and you know, it's not the exact same shade of brown and I think it's perfectly fine. At the same time, I can wear these, which is a lot lighter than this and it's still perfectly fine. I believe that you don't have to match uh, your shoes exactly to the belt. Some, some guys would oppose to that. I'm not that guy. Uh, and at the same time, you can also wear a canvas belt with a leather pair of shoes. But obviously, it's gonna have to be something that is a little more casual, such as a, you know, a loafer or something like that. So as I mentioned earlier, I really like this ratcheting system that Anson has. And I don't know if they were the ones that pioneered the system, but now there is new companies that have the system as well. There's a company called Slide Belts, which I looked into and I'm really not impressed. Uh, a lot of their stuff uh, is fake leather. Um, they also offer full grain options, but they are a lot more expensive than these. These guys do offer their higher um, quality Italian leather, uh, but they are more expensive. I think they run about $100 per belt. Um, and there's a few other uh, big brands such as uh, I think Calvin Klein and Perry Ellis also offer a couple of um, styles with this uh, system, but I definitely recommend Anson Belt. You know, just kind of look for what you like and what you're gonna wear, but also look at the quality uh, of the stuff that you're getting. A full grain leather uh, belt is gonna last you a lot longer than a genuine leather belt. And of course, when you're talking fake leather, I would, definitely recommend to steer away from that because it's not going to last you. This one is, uh, I think it's a Murano. It is a full grain leather, um, so it, it is very good. Um, the only thing that I am not happy with is their finish. If you can tell, uh, the finish is coming off. Uh, so I'm going to try to do something with this uh, at some point. I'll probably strip it, dye it, uh, and see how it turns out. And then this one I got from Amazon. It's a company called uh, FNL Classic, uh, and they make these handmade belts. Very, you know, generic, but I, I think it's very high quality. It's full grain leather. Um, I really like it. I've had this for about a year, uh, and it's it's pretty great. The other thing I wanted to mention is uh, I used to think that if you're wearing jeans, you're you have to wear this wider casual belt, which I think is like an inch and a half, uh, as opposed to the inch and a quarter, which is for a more dressier look. Um, but ever since I got this first uh, box of Anson belt, I actually don't mind wearing the thinner one with, uh, with some jeans, especially if I'm uh, wearing my shirt untucked and just kind of doing a French tuck. Uh, to kind of showcase the buckle. I am gonna get another box at some point because they also offer the uh, the inch and a half more casual belts. Um, you can mix and match if you want, but you won't get the, the box. It doesn't really make a difference, but you can get uh, one belt buckle that is a inch and a half and then one that's a inch and a quarter, and then you can either get two inch and a half straps or two um, inch and a quarter straps and then one of the other. But I decided to just go uh, for the two buckles and the three uh, inch and a quarter straps. So at some point I'll get uh, the other ones. But I still have these uh, that I wear a lot. So I, I don't need uh, any more belts right now. I have plenty. So the other thing I wanted to do, so I didn't do this last time, uh, with this excess piece that I cut off, I wanted to take it apart to see what actually goes on 
uh, inside of this thing. And you can right away tell just um, on the cut that it has a very conceptual piece of leather at the bottom and at the top. And it just has this padding. So this is the, uh, the Michael Patina one. So they use a, uh, an edge coat to finish the edges of the belt, which is a flexible paint that goes along the edge. So yeah, um, I don't know what this material is, but it's, it's very typical that they use something else other than leather uh, in between. Uh, to create that kind of a cushion profile um, but the actual leather it's very substantial which is actually really good uh, a lot of companies out there they use the thinnest ever possible piece of leather um, so it ends up wearing out pretty pretty quickly well, let's cut this other one open Oh, this also has a little bit of a padding inside. It looks like the back of this leather. Yeah, guys, I definitely recommend these. They are affordable as far as quality belts go. And this ratcheting system is um, pretty great. Anyways, that's going to wrap this video up. Uh, thank you guys a lot for watching and see you next time.